Reports on plan time can give you a good sense of what's coming up for the future. For yourself, for your team, or even for your whole company. In this video, I'll show you how to create a report for my team to see how their time is planned for the upcoming month. This report will tell me who's got some hours free and who's fully booked according to their availability, basically their capacity. It will also show me which project they're working on or if they're on vacation. There are two ways in which I can generate a report on plan time. The most obvious way is to click the reports icon in the sidebar. Because I also have tempo timesheets installed, I could run a report on log time but I want to click Plan Time. Then I select my filters in this dialog, in this case, Teams, and I select my team. Then I can use these options for grouping the data. I click Create, and my report is here. And it's set by default for the current time period. So that's one way to get a report, but if you're working in Tempo Planner, there's an even easier way. I've filtered for my team here and have set up the time period so that I can see the upcoming month. I've finished creating plans for some upcoming projects and also for vacations. And now I want to get a report on this plan time. So all I have to do is click the report button up here. And this generates a plan time report on the reports page. The great thing about running a report from Planner is that it keeps the filters and the time period that I've set up in Planner, so everything's ready to go. By default, planned hours are displayed, but I want to see more data, and I can do this from this menu that says Grid View. First off, I'll change the display from days to weeks, just to make things clear. I see planned hours here, and I'll add the percentage of required hours that are already planned, and the required hours themselves. Tempo remembers all the view settings and preferences that I used in this session, so the next time that I create a planned time report, everything will be set up the way that I like. Now I can see exactly how much time is planned relative to the time required for each of my team members. The data in this report is grouped by JIRA project and user here, but I also want to see to which issue their time is planned. Finally, I'll sort the data to show the most number of planned hours at the top, so I just click in that column to toggle between the highest and lowest values. And these values are sorted per project, then per user, and finally per issue. When I'm all finished setting up my report, I can save it from up here. I get a note that this report is for a fixed period, which means that the dates for this report won't change the next time I run it, but the data will if changes are made to the planned time. I'll give this report an appropriate name and click Save Report. All saved reports are available on the main reports page. So the next time I want to run this report, I just click it and all my data is there. One more thing that I need to do with this report is to export the data so that I can give it to my manager. I click Export and select a spreadsheet format. And this creates a file that can be loaded into Excel or another program. So that's how to create a report on plan time in Tempo. And this will help you get useful insights into where time will be spent in the future.